Libra, come on in. Put your feet up, make yourselves at home. I'm Jen Dawson. Welcome to Gen TV. All right, Libra. This is your timeless reading. I was meditating yesterday, pretty much all day, actually. And uh, it came up that everybody this week needs a timeless reading. You're going to find this when you need it. Okay. Bear in mind, my loves, these are general readings, so it's not going to resonate with all of you. But if it does, take a look at the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon if you want quick extended videos. There is also a link to my website if you'll book a private reading. There's a lot of scammers out there. So if you want a legitimate reading from me, then you have to come to my website. GenTVTarot.com. There's a link. I'm never going to come to you. Not ever. I'm never going to send you a message. I'm not going to be up in your DMs. I'm not going to be down there saying, this is my WhatsApp. It's never going to happen. So you have to come to me. I would like to wish a very happy birthday to Darren Dragon Tarot. Happy birthday to you. If you don't know Darren Dragon Tarot, go and check out his channel, but it's his birthday. So very happy birthday, my love. Here's your timeless reading for you and for everyone else. Let's see what the cards have got for us. I'm Libra too. Right. All right, Libra. That was the shuffle. Okay. Yeah. All right. So the overall vibe here, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. I see that as the end of a relationship. The end of something, the end of a cycle, the end of a relationship. It's... I've taught my cat how to talk. <laughs> we've got these little buttons and... Um, if he presses it, it says food. And he, he's, I can hear him like touching it now. <laughs> he hasn't figured out that he presses it. He thinks that if he just touches it, <laughs> then I'm going to feed him. But you might hear food in a second. But uh, he's already been fed twice today and uh, it's not lunchtime yet. So he can, he can go, go. That's what I can say. So the overall vibe, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. And the cause of it is the Knight of Cups. So it sort of feels like the end of something, the end of a relationship, the end of a cycle. And the cause of it is love. The cause of it is an offer of love. It wasn't what you wanted though. Got the six of wands in reverse. It wasn't what you were looking for. It wasn't the offer of love that you would have liked it to be or from whom you would have liked it to have been. So why is the Six of Wands here in reverse? What you need to know right now. You're freeing yourself from a prison that you've put yourself in. You're freeing yourself now. You're, you're, you're leaving it behind. It's the end of this cycle. You, you're managing to let go. Things are happening kind of really fast now, though. We've got the Eight of Wands here. This can be very fast, swift movement. It could be communication. It can be Cupid's arrows coming at you. It could be travel. But it sort of feels like this is an offer of love that you weren't looking for. And you're trying to leave behind, you know, maybe a karmic relationship, maybe a soul connection with somebody, twin flame. You're kind of trying to move forwards from it. Um, it was, it's not what you want to do, but you're kind of trying to. So things are happening quickly. It's an offer of love. Yeah. But, you know, you're doing what you can. 
We've got the fool in reverse here though. You it's it's sort of like, yeah, I'm not gonna jump into this. Whee! I'm not gonna go for it like that. I'm gonna see how it pans out. I'll take my time, I'm not gonna rush things. Anything else Libra needs to know right now. It's happening too quickly. That's why the eight of wands is there. It's, it's, it is it's is happening a little bit too quickly for you. You need to slow down. You've got the four of swords here. You're like, mm, I need to think about this. I need to chill. It's not what I wanted. I'm leaving behind that cycle now. But this is still not what I want. What do you want? What do you want? Let me ask. What do you want? Someone who's detached to themselves from you. Someone who's very detached, not communicating with you. They pulled their energy way back. Someone who is not honest with you. get closure with this situation it's someone who kind of charged in trying to get your attention they wanted your attention here i am look at me want your attention they got your attention and they charged on out when you're like I, but, but you wanted me where where have you gone they pulled their energy away come on what else does libra need to know right now This is all kind of happening the way it's supposed to. This is good. Yeah, you didn't get what you wanted. They detached from you, they pulled away. But this is all kind of now happening the way it's supposed to. You got an offer of love, it wasn't the offer of love that you wanted. So you, you're you like, it's. I sort of feel like this is you setting your boundaries. This is you trying to figure out who you are and what you really want and what you don't want. And it looks like this is not what you want, but it's something and it's forward movement right i want the queen of pentacles in reverse i sort of feel like it's you kind of had a rhythm before you knew what was going on that was life you're just going through it it sort of feels like this whole thing's knocked you out of whack a little bit, knocked you off kilter, off path that you were on, and you, you're sort of flailing around a little bit. But this is what's supposed to happen. It's kind of all part of your healing journey. There's a lot you need to know right now. You sort of feel like from this offer of love that you've got, it wasn't really what you wanted. You need to take a step back from it and be a little bit... Keep your distance. Maybe even being a little bit aloof about it. Like, oh, I... I Can't see you this weekend. I've got stuff on. Need to think. I sort of let's let's kind of take it forward here. What do you need to know that's coming up in the near future? Page of Wands. Pages are about messages. I'm not hearing anything, I'm not feeling anything. What, what's this page of ones about in the near future?
gateway. What you were walking away from, what you were trying to leave behind, the, the, the door you were trying to close, that's going to open itself up again. Now that you've set your boundaries and you mean them, you kind of have to go through all of this, getting what you didn't want. To understand what your boundaries were. You're going to get what you want. You kind of just had to go through the wars a little bit to get to it. You have to be sort of stabbing in the in the dark there a little bit, like what was it? Where am I go? Where am I? It's coming. You've kind of ended it, and you're trying to leave it behind. And you're trying to free yourself from like I sort of feel like it's either a soul connection, karmic connection, twin flame, something that you're kind of trying to release. Because it just became too painful. You need to heal from it. So, you know, an offer of love came in. I'll go with it. But it didn't. It wasn't the offer of love that you wanted. So you're backing off. It's going too fast for you. It's coming up in the near future. Who is this? It's them coming back they detached from the situation they're kind of coming back in it's 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 what you want we've got the sun here it makes you happy it's something you already walked away from it's not over maybe you couldn't accept that it was over well it isn't Coming up in the near future for Libra. Heart chakra. Something that has been making this ache deeply. It's it's healing for that. It's healing that heart shirt. Something that broke your heart. That's it's a healing energy for that. It's what needs to happen. You didn't get closure from this. You had to walk away from it. You had to, you know, move forwards and at least, you know, accept another offer of love, even though it wasn't what you wanted. coming back in. There's a lot of anxiety around this. All right, let's put these over here. I haven't got enough room on my table. So the best you can hope for, we've got the three swords in reverse. It is, you know, healing that broken heart. It's, it's, it's gonna heal. It's whatever's coming in, it's what you need to happen. So you need closure from this person. That's coming in. Tell me more. You're nine of pentacles, baby. You're in your power. You're in your nine of pentacles. You're healing. You're doing what needs to be done. And you're kind of cutting out from your life things that are not harmonious to you. Things that aren't working. You're cutting those out. That's the best you can hope for is that's what's going on. You in the near future, you got the world. So any cycles that were unfinished, unclear, doors not exactly closed, that is coming up. And them, but the Six of Swords, this is like not being able to let go of baggage. This is a person you're not able to really release and let go. They can't let you go. Tell me more about them. Why is the Six of Swords in reverse here? They 
can't let you go. They're holding on to you. <laughs> You're very, uh, very special to this person. I don't know why they treated you so badly in the past. You were very special to this person. You're very mystical, High Priestess here. Um, fascinating, beautiful. Look at, this is them. Look at the way they're looking up at you. King of Wands there, looking at you like, wow, look at her, what a babe. King of Wands, that's your forever love. That's the way I see him. Or her, you know. What is that? Hold on. What ring he's wearing? I just saw that in a dream recently. That's weird. You know what I'm getting is twin flame. You can see, see the two flames on his rod. This person can never let you go. They. they 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 held on to you as much as you know you seem to hold on to them but you're like well you know i've got to start seeing other people i've got to move on from this i'm not gonna rush it it wasn't what i wanted moving forwards healing you're they're coming back into your life it would seem and the outcome here is pretty interesting so we've got we've got options here now so let's take a look I'm going to read this outcome and then I'm going to take it into the extended where I'm going to ask about this person. How do they really feel about you? Where are you in their heart space? What are their intentions towards you? What do they want to say to you? And some guidance from the universe. Like, why is the Seven of Cups here for the outcome? It's pretty interesting. This is, you know, decisions, options. Good ones and bad ones. Oh, another two flames in that cup as well. Tell me more, why is the seven of cups here? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. This is, you know, finally the, the cycle's going to be good. It's going to be happy. It's going to be what you need it to be. Sorry, look, terrible. <laughs> Don't make up. This is just me. It's sort of a strange energy because it's, it's like it's moving forward. It's like you're kind of getting what you want. This light's killing me. Sorry, guys. Let me move it a bit. I hate it's, it's going to fall over and be it's blinding the shit out of me. Let's turn it that way. It's like you have no control over the situation. And neither do they. It's like, you have options now. So, just go with the flow with it. You don't have any control, so you just go with the universe. Where's the universe taking you? We've got the Wheel of Fortune. I feel like this person in question can only really open up to you so much. You know? It is who they are. They can only really open up to you to a certain point and then, you know, that's all they can give you. Tell me more about that person. But it's better than what you had. It's almost like they're saying, yes, I do feel the same. I love you. I... I want you in my life, but I can't see how it's going to work, so I can't do anything about it. I feel the way I feel, but is there any point in us trying to make it work? Because it won't... What? I feel this, yes, but what? How is that? that's, that's kind of their energy. Um... Come on, a little bit of guidance from the universe. We'll, we'll 
do a bit more of that in the extended, but just a little bit of guidance from the universe in this. And so you see, you know, take your time and, and release anything that's unhealthy. And if this person, you know, you, this is about your boundaries. If this person's saying, I want it this way. Yeah, go with the universe, but also you have your boundaries. Go with the universe doesn't mean, all right, forget about the boundaries. They're important. So if, if this person is saying, for instance, you know, they're in a relationship, but hey, let's have a fling because I can't do anything about it. What's the point, you know, of, you know, how could it possibly work? But yeah, we could have an affair. That's crossing your boundaries, isn't it? You don't want that. You want someone who's all in. So, you know, it's important to fight the fight, be yourself and uh, fight for what you want with the flow of the universe. Yeah, don't fight that. But fight anyone who's trying to cross your boundaries. There's two freaking flames in this cup and she's like, she's like, I won't drink that cup. That's the cup you want. You want, you want the twin flame. get what you want i feel like you will get what you want it's just this person's never gonna be easy for you they're never gonna just flow it's always gonna be a little bit difficult and the resistance you're gonna get from them is It's kind of stupid in a way. How can we make it work? Why would, why would we put effort into it? It's not going to work. What can we do? Yeah, I feel the way I feel, but what's the point? You know, it's... I feel like a heart healing conversation is coming, but it's also going to be difficult for you. Uh, a little bit better. Let's read some oracle cards here. What have you got for Libra? Don't let your past hold you back. And your love lyric for the day. I don't want to be tied to anyone's strings. I'm carefully trying to steer clear of those things. But when I'm asleep, I want somebody who will put their arms around me and kiss me tenderly. Yes, somebody by the Depeche Mode. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. And if you want to watch the extended, take a look in the description box below. There's a link to my Patreon. You'll find the video there. See you guys later. Bye.